I'm Annette Lawler. Welcome to our first edition of LT Talks, Localization Talent Talks. I'm here today with Anna Pays from Google. Welcome, Anna. Thank you. Anna, we met a, couple, a while ago. We've known each other for a while. I think it was the um, Women in Localization. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you tell your 21-year-old self? Yeah, <laughs> So I'm going to take you back there today um, to that scary place of 21. <laughs> tell us a little bit about how you got into localization, what you studied, and mm -hmm. your path. So. At that time, uh, I remember in my high school times, I was very interested in, inter interested in languages. So I love languages and I decided to start something about it. And uh, I started in high school classic languages and then I decided to study at the college uh, Slavic languages. So okay. Russian, Bulgarian and Polish. Uh, at that time I knew that it was kind of difficult to have a life with that thing, but I really enjoyed the five years yeah. in studying those languages and uh, thinking that maybe the future will not be like that. Yeah. So then what happened is that when I finished my studies, uh, it was difficult to find a job in localization. So I started in sales and operations. Okay. And you were in Spain at that in stage? In Spain yeah. at that stage. And only when I actually moved to Google in 2008, uh, I finally end up going to localization. So in my third role at Google, I started to work as a language manager in the language services team. Fantastic, and you had a long career outside localization prior to that, 15 yeah. years? 15 years, 15 yeah. 15 years, yeah. my goodness. And you, you were hired in as language manager? Yes, I was okay. hiring that language services manager because precisely of my op operational experience. Okay. Uh, managing processes at scale and my familiarity with languages and my love for languages. Okay. Because from that perspective, uh, managing languages in a large multinational as Google is very much about processes okay. and it's very much about scale. But also, you need to learn a little bit of, you know, and to be close to what a language is and what is needed for performing the job. So I, I was a good contribution to the team bringing the operational experience to the already knowledgeable team in the localization aspect Fantastic. of the translations. Fantastic. And in what period of time from coming in in that role to heading up the, the language group did it take? So I arrived as a language manager and, uh, in 2010, I think, and I spent three years uh, managing uh, initially a, a small set of languages. Okay. Then. Uh, Simia, and then I start acting more in the Simia region, and then I got the role to manage the global language services team in the third year. Fantastic. So in total, I was five years in the localization team at Google. Brilliant. And in that role, I'm sure you had to hire uh, quite a lot of people. Um, what type of positions were you filling, and what were the attributes of the people that were most successful in, in, in your team? When I arrived to the team, the team was in the middle of a change. Uh, scaling more the language services in the vendor side. Okay. So the, the language specialist needs to move more from reviewing themselves to being able to do review at scale through the vendors. So it was very important to create new skills in the team about managing operations, managing processes, being able to transfer the knowledge to the reviewers. Uh, so we start looking in, into the language services, language specialist role, people that were able to manage teams, to have more leadership, to be able to manage uh, operations. Again, always having some familiarity with the language aspect, but very much a focus in that part. And also a uh, very important managing ambiguity Right. Because in Google, I mean, there's a lot of new products, new situations, and you really need people being able to manage the new part that was coming. So for that, people need to be comfortable with the change, with doing stuff that they don't know, and that was very key for the new profiles that we hired. Okay. What advice would you give to people starting out that maybe want to get involved in localization, don't know anything about it, but where, what advice would you give to those, to yeah. those folks? I think the advice is any domain can be learned. Okay. So you always will have uh, transferable skills that you can apply because at the end of the day, everything is a process. Sure. Everything can be a project. Everything needs to get done. So you have that ability. You can do it that being 
in the legal aspect of it, localization. So all the stuff can be learned. Yeah. And that's a transferable skill that you might have. Localization is as any other industry. And if you love languages, it's a perfect one. Perfect. And you will bring diversity to that industry if you go from outside. Yeah. Because uh, you combine the, the current knowledge of the industry together with what the future on technologies or other companies are doing. Fantastic. So know your innate skills and use those to figure out where you should be best exactly. placed with the, within the industry. I know Google have recently um, brought about some free training mm -hmm. on their site and that I think I've, I've looked at some of it but it looks through sort of going through the basic terminology of what is localization and what are the roles that people can have within it so I think probably mm -hmm. that's a good place for people to have a look at as well. Yeah exactly because I think that initiative started some years ago as okay. well when we were struggling to get the people. best resources. Okay. I think then then we realized, you know, even there's a lot of translators, a lot of reviewers out there, and a lot of them working for Google actually. Uh, not everyone knew how Google needed to be translated. Yeah. So I think internally we thought that was our responsibility to do something about it, and I'm happy to see that the team came up with with that. Yeah, it's fantastic. In order to bring more people in the industry, because. It's a great industry, it's yes. a lovely place to be, but there is not that many people coming on, yeah. new people coming, bringing new perspectives, new ideas. New ideas, and that's what we need exactly. uh, with the talent gaps growing every year. So Anne Pei, thank you very much for having us here today in the Google offices and for sharing your insights with us. I'm Annette Lawler from Line People. You've been watching LT Talks, Localization Talent Talks. If you would like to get involved and share your insights of your localization career with us, please get in touch through our LT Talks page. <laughs>